Hello, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. I think my microphone is plugged in. Hopefully you can hear me and see me and all the things. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Can you hear me okay, Jennifer? I think I'm set with my mic here. I've got it in the shot now. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday that feels like a Monday, right? Yesterday was Memorial Day. And so like my whole week's messed up. I keep thinking it's Monday. Anyone else do that? I'm like, Oh, wait, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday. We do our fun live today. So, hey, Mary, thanks for joining me for tuning in live. That's awesome. Hey, Kathy, Cindy's here. Brooke's here. Melissa, all the gang is here. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. So glad that you're here to uh, join me. Bonnie, thank you so much for sharing. I always appreciate that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a fun fold card tonight. This uh, fun fold was inspired by one of my team members. We did a swap. So one of the fun things that we do in our team is we have swaps and people don't have to participate. They can choose to participate or not. Hey, Linda Larson, Linda's on my team. Um, and uh, it's, you know, optional. Uh, and one of my team members, uh, uh, this was her swap card and I thought it was really a fun fold. So I wanted to give it a try with some different products. Hello, New South Wales, Australia. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to use a suite of products called Abigail Rose. And so I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera here. Make sure everything is working properly. Oh, no, it's sideways. Of course it's sideways. Okay, hold the phone, guys. We're going to do a little flippy doodle. <laughs> no, we're not sideways. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's a it's a Monday on a Tuesday. What can we say, right? So um, this is the Abigail Rose Suite. Hey, Charlene. Good to have you joining me tonight. Central Square, New York. Wow. How cool is that? Um, it's actually quite cool here in Minnesota, Nancy. It is a whopping 63 degrees right now. So, and I know it's chilly in Australia. So, uh, but I know other areas of our country here are quite warm. So, so the Abigail Rose is a suite of products. Now, a suite of products just means that it's a group of products that go well together. And so just for convenience sake, they've made it orderable by one number, or you can always order the individual parts and pieces. Totally up to you. This suite is on page 56 and 57 of the annual catalog. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at it here. I will throw my catalog on the floor. <laughs> uh, Nancy's near Syracuse, New York. Okay. So uh, part of this suite, oh, whoops. I got the stamp set over here because I was using it. So we have a bundle that is part of the suite. That's a Cottage Rose stamp set. These are some gorgeous images. Now these images can be stamped and colored or today we're actually going to not color them at all. And we're going with a neutral palette, which matches really well with the designer series paper. These are the dies that are in the set. Um, there's some really cool, um, I'm looking to make sure the one I need is here. Um, some cool dies in this set. Uh, some really lacy ones that we're going to use today. And uh, this is the designer series paper. I guess I should grab the ribbon as well. I wasn't planning on using this ribbon on this card, but it is a really, really pretty ribbon. Um, so it it kind of looks like it's burlap, but it's called natural finish ribbon. And it's much softer than burlap. It's a much finer weave than that very, very soft. Because it's such a wide ribbon, it's perfect for tying packages and doing presentations like that. But on a card, it's really pretty just putting a, a piece of that ribbon on the card. So I'm going to put that over here. And because I don't think we're going to use that, I'll put it back in my ribbon holder. Let's look at this really pretty uh, designer series paper. And again, this is a little unique because it's all a neutral palette. And I'm going to grab the package. Sure I am. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to grab the package, um, which uh, the colors in the paper are basic black, crumb cake, early espresso, petal pink, smoky slate, and vanilla. So we have a lot of neutrals and one color, which is petal pink, which is a very pale, soft color. So um, so we have this gorgeous, really vintage -y look. This whole thing is very vintage. 
and just a really elegant feel. Uh, backside of this, this is where that petal pink comes in. This is the only place I believe that petal pink comes in. It's kind of like a ticking stripe. And then this particular one um, can be die cut with the dies from the set. Uh, some of the flowers can. So um, I think this one, is this one going the wrong way? Yeah, this is the one that can be cut with the, the flower, with the die from the set. So there's um, several in here that could be cut out. And then the back side of this, I've got this cut down, so it's hard to see that, but um, got kind of a grid paper, again, really vintage look there. Then this beautiful, just black and vanilla pattern. And then on the back, we've got some smoky slate with little circles and then more flowers and a crumb cake on a white. And then this one is crumb cake and early espresso. Another with crumb cake and early espresso. And this one, the background is textured, so it almost looks like linen or fabric. Really, really pretty. Kind of burlap look almost. And the other side of that is the smoky slate leaves. And then we have this elegant pattern, which is the uh, crumb cake on white with just the outline of the, the uh, flowers. So Joe says she likes this set. It's on her wish list. DSP for sure. Yeah, totally agree. Um, when you use a neutral palette, did I show you the other side of this? I don't think I did. This is kind of a um, another very vintage sort of shabby chic um, look in that it's sort of modeled. So some of the print is lighter and some is brighter um, to give you that really soft overall look. So that's kind of a smoky slate white pattern. So we have lots of fun um, neutrals happening here and neutrals are super elegant. So we're going to give this card a go with these papers and this bundle. Now, remember, when you get the stamp set, you can get the dies. If you get the two together, you can bundle it and you can get the savings. So let me show you Sandy Stellenberg's card. Uh, this is my team member, Sandy. She did this card for our swap. Um, she didn't have the name of the fold on it. So I'm calling it the envelope flap fold for lack of a better term, because I don't know, it's like an envelope flap. So this flap here tucks under these flowers and then it opens up like that. So that this panel is adhered behind here and then it just tucks in there. Now, Sandy used the um, Texture Chic um, Designer Series paper, that suite of products. Uh, Season of Chic is the stamp set with the chic dies. And she said that this fold was inspired by demonstrator Linda Bettinger. So I wanted to give a shout out to her. Um, so this was Sandy's version. Um, we are using some very different papers. So don't know what it's going to end up looking like, you guys. <laughs> We're going to find out, right? I did, I played around. I went back and forth on the color that I wanted for the main part of the card. And I did settle on white because I'm using one of the pieces of paper, uh, designer paper that has a white core. Um, if I was using the one that had a vanilla core, I think you could totally use a vanilla base. I also think you could use like a crumb cake uh, base. And when I say base, this is actually not really the card base. It's the part that opens up. Before I close this up, I'm going to, um, before I score on it, I'm going to stamp. So this particular uh, piece of, of uh, basic white is eight by five and a quarter. And I've scored it at four. And I'm just going to stamp best wishes in the lower left corner here in early espresso ink. I'm going to close that up. Oh, I'm nervous, you guys. What if I mess up this card? Like, I didn't really make it beforehand. <laughs> we're being very brave here, aren't we? So we're going to take our bone folder and just crease on that. So there we have the part of the card that opens. So if we go back to Sandy's card here, it's this part. So we do need a base. Um, and that is going to go behind the card. Now we have two options for that. I'm going to have you guys vote on which you prefer. We can either do crumb cake or we can do early espresso. Um, don't vote yet because um, let's take a look at the designer paper with it first because I think that will help you decide. Uh, let's see. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more here. 
Okay, so we have our designer series paper right here. So this is the pattern that I chose to use for our envelope flap. This is a piece that is four inches by four inches. And we're gonna fold it uh, corner to corner um, to get that diagonal uh, envelope fold. I didn't score it, nothing. I just straight up folded it in half. Um, okay, you guys, I had the bone folder in the hand. Seriously. Okay, here it is. Found it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So now this piece is going to adhere on the back of our card because we want this to lift up and the card to open. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and adhere it back here. So I'm going to grab my seal and put some seal on here to get this one going. There we go. And I'm trying to not get it all the way out to the corners because we're going to be nipping off the, the corners. But I get it partly out there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take our card here and just fold it like so and stick it to the back of the card. And then you can see that it extends above and below. We're just going to take our paper snips and we're just going to trim that off. So we don't need that. There we go. So we've got that trimmed off. <laughs> don't be nervous. I'm always nervous. Isn't that funny? But you guys help me through every time. It's awesome. All right, so we have this. So let's try it with our two bases. So this is what the crumb cake base looks like. And this is what the early espresso base looks like. Okay, so you guys, you guys think about that. And while you're thinking about that, we're going to pull in our other pieces here. I'm going to do a little stamping, a little die cutting, all the things. And uh, you, if you want to wait and uh, vote after you see all the parts and pieces together, I'm totally cool with that. I think that's actually a really good idea. So I'm going to grab one of the flowers from the set. And... <sighs> okay. It's like, how did I lose that ink pad? I just had it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a squeaky one. Sorry. Sorry for that loud squeak. So this ink pad is probably needing to be reduced. I'm kind of pushing my luck on this one. Press really firmly and I'm being super lazy and I should just rank it. Okay, that's pretty good. I can live with that. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. So we've got that stamped. Let's put that away and let's go ahead and die cut this out. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to leave that out. It's like, do I need to put that? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Mm. You know what? I'm just realizing I grabbed the mini machine, but the mini machine does not have, we don't have the magnetic plate for the mini machine quite yet. It will be out soon, but it's not out yet. Mm. All right, I'm going to take my chances. Oh, I'll take my chances. It's okay. You know what? I've got a I've got one on my desk that I cut or oh, you know, this may not work. This die may be too big. In the way I've got this paper done. Yeah, I can't do this. Okay. Hold on one moment. Talk amongst yourselves while I grab the other machine. Y'all knew this is the one I wanted to use anyway, right? <laughs> because I've got my handy dandy magnetic plate here. Yay. So I can put my image down and pop my die on top of it, line it up. Sorry, I'm kind of off camera there. Line it up and then not worry about that. I also want to die cut this um, cool flower. There's several cool flowers in here. Uh, let's do this one right here. That one's really pretty. Kind of a, a double flower and I'm I'm die cutting it out of uh, gold foil because why not right <laughs> that seems very elegant what color ink is that that you just stamped the flower with that was early espresso the same color that I stamped the greeting with now I stamped it on crumb cake 
So it's not as bold and bright as what I did on the uh, basic white because uh, the basic white is a little bit smoother uh, finish. <laughs> okay, that's the second time I've hit my head on my computer. Seriously, so embarrassing. I, do I, did I say that out loud? Okay, just pretend I didn't say that. I shouldn't tell you guys that I do dumb things like that. All right, so there we have our gorgeous flower. How pretty is that? It's not colored or anything, but it's just absolutely stunning. <gasps> look at this die. Just look at this die. You know what? This leaf is really cool too. I really like that leaf. Mm, you might need that. <laughs> uh, you might need to use that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here is the other one. Look how pretty. It's looking really, really brassy in this light. Um, in, in reality, it's very pretty gold. Just popping it up with my fingernail. It's very delicate. And I don't want to break it. I'm going to push out all these little pieces. I don't actually want those, but you could totally fill in with those if you wanted more of a solid flower. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And there are multiples of those types in here. There's this one long stemmed single flower that's the same kind of outline deal. Um, the leaf here and then the a smaller different type of flower and another single uh, bloom over there. So really cool. All right. So we're going to pop our magnetic plate out of the way here along with our platform. We don't need it anymore. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. And let's bring in our card and we're going to take this. So now Sandy had, to, oh, Oh, things are falling. Well, that's pretty much a normal Tuesday on a Monday, Monday on a Tuesday, whatever this is. Um, so Sandy actually did two pieces of um, paper here. She did a cardstock piece and a, a designer paper piece. I'm going to just do one designer paper piece. And I'm going to punch that with the banner punch. Um, you can also do this bannering technique with scissors if you're really good at it. <laughs> I'm not. Um, you just cut in part way and then you go from corner to point, corner to point. Um, when I can use a tool like this awesome punch that does six different, three different widths with two different styles. Yeah, I'm all over the tools, you know, it makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to slide this piece in all the way. And then I, this is a one inch by four inch piece of designer paper. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to make sure that I am straight, all the things, and then I'm going to punch. So that gives me this little banner, and that's going to go right over there. Okay, so now, now the moment of truth. Now we have to decide if we want early espresso or if we want crumb cake. So let's take a look at what this is going to look like. I'm um, going to have our flower back here. In fact, we can go ahead and stick that on. I'm thinking kind of like that. Let's go ahead and uh, where are my dimensionals? I've got minis. I've got minis. Aha! Got a whole fresh sheet of the big ones. Yay! I'm starting to panic there. Could you tell? <laughs> All right. Must have dimensionals. All right. I need to look at how I'm doing this again. I want it off to one side a little bit, just poking up there. I think that's good right there. And I'm putting the dimensionals just on one side of the flower because I need my flap to have a place to tuck. So I want it to be able to slip under that um, right here. Did I get that over too far maybe? Yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. I think we're okay, guys. All right, let's go ahead and tack this down. And then I'd like you to tell me in the comments if you would prefer a crumb cake base or early espresso. This piece is going to go right here. So here's our piece coming in here. That's what it's going to look like with the crumb cake behind it. And then here's our piece coming in here, and that's what it's going to look like with the early espresso behind it. So let me know your, your preference. 
seen a lot of early espresso. You guys followed the directions so good today. You just were on it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card. Oh my goodness. Now, if you were a real paper saver, um, you know, this part of the, the thing is not going to show. So I suppose you could fold it in half and you could even just cut some off if you wanted to use that for something else. Um, but it would make it a little more challenging. So I would use it um, in the four by four first to get your fold down before you do that. All right. So we've got that. And then we're going to adhere this piece right here. And we're going to use that flower to tuck our flap under. So I'm going to take off my uh, dimensional backs here. I want to make sure that I'm not going to... There we go. So now my flap just sticks right under that flower. And my card opens up like that. How fun is that? And I think we're going to have to add... We're going to have to add some embellishments, you guys. We're just going to have to. We're just going to have to. <laughs> All right, before we do that, um, let's do a little something, something on the inside of the card. I want a little uh, stamping in there. So I'm actually going to grab this large floral bouquet from the Cottage Rose stamp set, um, which is the same one I used on the front. Let's grab our early espresso here. Oh, squeaky, squeaky, because we're going all with that monochromatic thing. Hang on, I gotta grab a, I gotta grab a grid paper here. All right, so we're gonna pop this on here. And, hmm, I don't really want it to show on that early espresso, so I'm gonna do it like that. I mean, it would be really tone on tone, and I don't know that I would really show, but Boy, I'm really zoomed up, aren't I? Let's come out just a little bit. Bling it out, you betcha. We're just going to add a little bit of that coming in the bottom there. Just that extra elegance on the inside. I'm going to leave the inside blank. This would be a gorgeous wedding card, a gorgeous graduation card. You could actually do it as a birthday card. So many choices. But let's see what our options are for that bling that we want. Bling, 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 bling. And I just wanted to remind you that uh, today is the last chance to place an order to get in on my May specials. Uh, for May, I'm sending out a, a packet of sample cards um, to everyone that orders, places a $50 order. And then you also are going to qualify for Crafter Noon uh, in June. Now, our last Crafter Noon fold was this one the crisscross floating message fold and the tutorial bundle for these cards. And there are seven of them is available to purchase now. And everyone that placed an order, of course, got that for free. All right. I'm digging in my drawer to see what fun things. I want gold, right? Got to do gold. We could have some little brushed butterflies flying in there. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, I think I want these guys. Let's see. Just looking through my options. Got the rustic um, metallic adhesive back dots. I've got the brushed metallic uh, adhesive back dots. So I need your vote if we're doing butterflies, if we're going to do rustic, or if we're going to do brushed. Anyone have a, a, a vote on that? So here's what the butterflies would look like. These are the rustic. They're a little bit, they're not a shiny gold. They're more of a matte kind of bronze color. And then I would probably use the brushed gold from this if we go with that. So let's see what we got. We got butterflies. We got brushed. We've got rustic. 
Butterflies are sweet. Well, let's see here. None just like it is. Well, there, that's always an option too. So I think the butterflies have just squeaked into the lead. So let's pop. Um, I might just even do just a single butterfly on here. Right there. We, we could also add a little one down. No, I'm just going to leave it right there with the single butterfly. So there we have our card. So that is the envelope uh, flat fold with the Abigail Rose suite of products. And, you know, we could do it inside greeting. This set does have some, some really nice greetings in there, but I'm going to leave it blank because I don't know for sure what I'll need it for. So we'll go with that. So what a fun fold. Thank you, Sandy Stellenberg, for inspiring us today to, to make that fun fold. I think you could do this with any designer paper. Um, so many options, right? That so, um, so many choices. So um, yeah, it's very easy and versatile. You could do, um, of course, you know, we've got our um, hues of happiness paper. Of course, we've got the sun prints. That would be really fun with this. So many options, right? I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera here. There we go. Yay, there it is. So one more thing I wanted to mention, today is also the last opportunity to take advantage of the uh, starter kit special. If you place uh, the, an order uh, for the starter kit, and that's how you become a demonstrator, and you don't have to do videos like I do. You can just be a hobby, uh, hobby demonstrator, which means you're a discount shopper, basically. Um, or you can do classes, or you can sell to your families and friends. Totally up to you. But um, you get $125 a product for $99, and right now you get a bunch of free stuff. And people that sign up now, so demonstrators tomorrow are actually going to be able to order pre-order from the new mini catalog that comes out. This is the July through December mini catalog, the one that has Halloween and fall and Christmas and all the fun things in it. Um, so demonstrators can pre-order from that mini catalog in June and then customers can order from it in July. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, so fun. And I will see you again on Saturday for our next video. Uh, by the way, tomorrow, the um, project sheet emails are going out. I know it seems like we just had one, um, but there's another one going out tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed to my uh, project sheet emails, uh, you can do so right there. Go to suestampfield.com, click, click on subscribe, and you'll get those uh, inspirations right in your email. Take care, everyone. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.